Hey guys, so let's talk about this problem. This is a very beautiful problem. Question says x raised to power x raised to power 2023 is equals to 2023. Now this question <coughs> becomes a little tough because we have got three exponents, like uh, three terms, there are two exponents. So there is x raised to power x and raised to power 2023. And that too, <coughs> that is all coming equal to a uh, prime number. Now here, <coughs> we won't be able to like, in, in normal terms, we are not able to substitute some value for this or do anything for this. So what we can do, the problematic part, what is the problematic part? Problematic part is x raised to power 2023. If this would not have been here or if this would have been a very single number, probably we would have done something like x raised to power y, we would have done x is equals to 2023 and y equals to one, something of that sort. So first of all, let's do this thing only. First of all, assume x raised to power 2023 as some other variable. So x raised to power 2023, this entire exponent term, I'm assuming this to be y. Let's suppose that this is y. Now, once we have done this, I know that uh, <coughs> from here, I can even get the value of x. How? I can take power of x power 2023. I can take power both side as one upon 2023. One upon 2023, here also one upon 2023. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. We have got a x and here we have got y uh, raised to power 1 upon 2023. Cool. Now once we have got this value of x, let's substitute this value in the original equation itself. So in this original equation, what will happen? We have this x as y raised to power 1 by y raised to power 1 by 2023. And then whole raised to power. So this is x, this is x. And this whole raised to power, this entire thing we had assumed y. So this y whole raised to power this thing, that is y. And equals to 2023. So now we have reached at this conclusion. So again, here I can do one thing. I can just multiply this because you know the property a raised to power m into a raised to power n. Uh, sorry, not multiplied. It's a raised to power m whole raised to power n. So whenever we have whole raised to power n, so this gets multiplied and this becomes a raised to power m into n. Okay. So using the same property, you can simply multiply. This will happen y raised to power y into 2023, 1 upon 2023 and hence we have got this. Now, what can be done? I can write it like this, y raised to power y and whole raised to power 1 upon 2023. I have sent this 2023 outside. Now you might be thinking, why did I do that? Because here I am able to see that this is y raised to power y and outside it's 1 upon 2023. And in the right hand side, this is we have 2023. Now if I take power 2023 both side, both side I can do that. So if I do that, what will happen? If I take power <coughs> both side, this is y raised to power y, whole raised to power 1 by 2023, whole powered 2023. And here also 2023 whole power 2023. So if I do this, what will happen? This 2023 and this 2023 gone, cancelled. And in the RHS, we are having 2023 to the power 2023, which is same number to the same power, same number to the same power. And hence we will get the answer. So, okay. So the answer is y raised to power y is equals to, this is 2023 raised to power 2023. So we have got this 2023 got cancelled and hence y raised to power y equals to 2023 power 2023. So finally, we can very easily say that, okay, y is equals to 2023. And now what was y? What was y? So if you do remember, we had assumed this entire thing to be y. So this is nothing but x raised to power 2023. So if we have to find x, I'll take power 1 upon 2023 both side. So I'll do 2023 whole to the power 1 upon 2023 <coughs> is equals to x to the power 2023 whole to the power 1 upon 2023. Cool. Both the powers get cancelled and hence we have got x is equals to 2023 whole to the power 1 by 2023. And hence that's the solution. I hope you like the video. If that's the case, do share this video with your friends also and do like the video. For more such videos, follow this channel, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you in the next channel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. 
So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.